friends welcome to Nidhi's kitchen today i am going to make a very delicious dessert recipe that is gulab jamun so for making gulab jamun we need 1 cup milk mava powder half cup all purpose flour 2 tablespoon ghee 1 teaspoon baking soda half cup of milk to make the dough For making sugar syrup, we need one and half cup sugar, one and half cup water, four cardamom seeds, and some oil to fry gulab jamun. First, let's make sugar syrup. For that, pour one and half cup of water and one and half cup of sugar in a pan. Now mix it well till sugar dissolves completely. add cardamom seed and cook this mixture over medium flame till it reaches half string consistency this will take 8 to 10 minutes now sugar syrup is ready now let's start making the dough for that add in 1 cup of milk mava powder half cup of all purpose flour 2 tablespoon of ghee in a bowl and mix it well with the help of a spoon after mixing it well add in 1 teaspoon of baking soda and give it a nice mix now we will make the dough add milk little by little and make a smooth and soft dough make the dough gently and do not over knead the mixture Now as you can see our dough is ready and it is very soft for making this dough i used 1/4 cup of milk Now grease your palms with ghee and take small portion of dough and make a round crack free ball from it This way i will make all other balls Do not make large bowls as it will increase in size during deep frying and soaking process. You can see I have made all the balls and they are nice and crack free. Now we will deep fry them. For deep frying heat oil in a deep pan over medium flame and add balls in it After adding the balls reduce the flame to low and stir the balls gently so that they will cook nicely from all the sides the balls until they turn golden brown in color this will take 7 to 8 minutes over low flame transfer them over paper napkin to absorb excess oil now 
add deep fried jamuns in the warm sugar syrup. This way, I'll fry other jamuns and soak them in the sugar syrup. As you can see, I have put all the deep fried jamuns in the sugar syrup and now I will let them soak in the sugar syrup for at least 2 hours before serving. As you can see, gulab jamun has increased in size and absorbed sugar syrup nicely. Now they are ready to serve. You can see gulab jamuns are very soft and they have absorbed sugar syrup nicely. Give this recipe a try and I'm sure you will love it. Thanks for watching.